What was the first state to give women voting rights? Wyoming. 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 Awesome. Wyoming? <laughs> You're right. Uh, is it New England or Vermont? No, it's actually Wyoming, but good try. Thanks. Ellie, it's um, your, your turn. New Hampshire. The answer is Wyoming. What amendment gives women voting rights? The Eighth Amendment. Actually, the 19th. Four. Uh, six. It's actually 19. Good try. Uh, 16th. That's really close. It's 19. 17. It's 19. Good effort. Uh, the 19th Amendment. That's correct. High school and here we go with our first episode of semester two for show 85 in our fifth season right anyway I'm Declan and welcome to HHS today we've got some great segments for you information fun opinions and more first a heads up the administration has started looking at grades for juniors and seniors with privileges students who lose those privileges will be assigned to study halls so keep those marks up pillars now on to our first segment there's a new podcast coming out and Eve interviewed its creator Ivanya, what is sort of your goals for this podcast? Over the summer, there was a lot going on in our world, in our community, and it really just inspired me to get started on a project like this. I'm working with Ms. Tice and my family to create something that's really amazing for all students to, you know, come and voice their opinions on subject matters, topics, and anything that they want to get out to the world and to students at HHS. What is something you kind of want people to know about your podcast beforehand? The whole model is to the students from the students. It's not to be based in evidence. You know, everything from the COVID-19 situation that's going on down to entertainment. And it's just a place for students to come and talk about what they're feeling and talk about their, their takes on certain things. You know, how are the latest trends that are going around in society? I know one big one is, you know, like body positivity and TikTok. This is where you can do that. Um, something where students can just kind of share their thought about the world today. It's just more about students' interests in doing something like this. I also will be just putting out episodes of me giving my opinions on something. And I hope you do very well on it. Thank you so much. And um, I'm just really excited for any students out there watching this. If you have a take or an opinion that you'd love to talk about, um, just email me at emather at hillers.org. That sounds awesome. I'm looking forward to hearing it. And speaking of hearing, if you're down in the sea wing, you'll often hear music. And Evan stopped by to see the action. Love that song. Great work there. Now, we have a ton of tech in our lives, and Josh interviewed one of the people whose job is to keep it all working. I am the director of technology for the school district. I was the uh, assistant principal for the high school here in Hopkinton, uh, and before that, I was a biology teacher. Um, I had a lot of uh, interest in tech integration. So as a classroom teacher, I, I like to do a lot of different uh, project-based learning uh, with digital devices, computers, in the summertime, obviously, which is our, our busy time of year anyways, as we prepare for the new school year, was uh, really, really crazy this summer as we had to um, adjust, get a bunch of new software uh, that we haven't used in the past ready. Uh, we've had to spend a lot of time training teachers to get ready to use some of those software and those tools. Uh, and then kind of even before that, we were supporting um, students and staff, you know, remotely. The best thing that all of us can do as users is keep our passwords safe, um, make them complicated, 
and then put them someplace that's, you know, digital where no one else can see. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ghosh. We appreciate your time. Thanks for your work, Mr. Ghosh. Okay, sports fans. Tenny went out and asked, what Boston sports team do you want most to win? What Boston sports team would you like to see win the championship next? Oh, I would love the Bruins to just crush it. There's nothing better than a little hockey action. Oh, yeah. They got a good chance this year, too. Boston Bruins, easily. Oh, yeah. Rollbees. Celtics. Celtics. Good stuff. Uh, Celtics. Again, popular answer. The Patriots. Agreed. The Bruins. You heard it. The notorious n nutballs. Um, I would like to see Red Sox win for a baseball team in this championship. The Patriots. I agree. Thank you. No problem. Uh, that's easy. Red Sox. There you go. Miss Millette speak. All right. That was neat. Our next segment is produced by Nate, and it's his opinion piece on returning to a full-time schedule. Welcome to HGS Today's opinion page. I'd like to share my thoughts on plans to fully open the school, about what they are, and why I'm against them. Due to the plans to reopen the school changing often, some of my claims may be outdated. The concern I have is that, as far as I know, the school doesn't plan to screen for the coronavirus after school is back to full time. While most schools plan to screen, HHS just is not setting budget reasons. This doesn't sit right with me, as the school is one of the wealthier schools in the state. This is made worse by the fact that there will be very little space between students, meaning that COVID can spread faster and easier in, than it would currently, with tracing being a logistical nightmare. My other concern is that we have already adapted to the current schedule, and that such a dramatic change will likely throw people off to varying degrees. We've had so many schedule changes at this point, and I'm just tired of building habits just to get them broken. I'm Nate, and that's my opinion. Thank you, Nate. And if anyone out there has an opinion they would like to share, let us know. Now, on to our last segment, where I have a new take on an old classic. Have you seen this? Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Declan with HHS TV. Today, we are doing a Have You Seen This? Uh, we go around asking people. We show them a photo of this here. Make sure if you see us around to participate. All right, we're back with Have You Seen This? with... Hannah. Have you seen this, Hannah? Yeah. Where? The art wing. All right, we are here with Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins, how you doing today? Wonderful, how are you? I'm doing all right. Have you seen this? I believe I have. Where do you think it is? I think it is just past the booth when you enter the building, right, uh, right around C-Wing, right where our fabulous uh, art classes are located. All right, we're here with... Josh. Josh, have you seen this? No. All right, we're here with Joe. Joe, have you seen this photo? Yes, it is by the art room. All right, we are here with... Isaac Peterson. Isaac, have you seen this photo? No. Well, that certainly was a new take on an old classic. And that's all we got for this episode. Tell us how we're doing and what we should be doing by emailing us at hhstv at hillers.org. Tune in next time for some more Hawkenden High School action. See ya. <laughs>